Hey, it's Honest and Drew Cuber here. Today's video is going to be about two look PLO. Um, if you're looking at this video right now, you're probably using um, only two algorithms or three algorithms to uh, permute the last layer of the of your three by three. Um, this video will teach you to um, use only two algorithms in one solve um, to permute the last layer. Now, what this means is, so say you have a scrambled last layer like this okay we will say you have this okay um, first what you would do you either you you would use one of these algorithms one two or three to first get the three um, edges in the right place I mean three corners in the right place right and then you would use another algorithm to um, solve the cube, right? But if you're using this, if you, if you solve the cube enough times, you'll notice that there are special cases. For example, um, here, um, for example, here, you're, when you're looking for to the corners, for the corners, um, to do the corners first, you're looking for headlights, right? So sometimes you'll run into a case where you don't have any headlights, right? So basically what this video will teach you is to solve that with only one algorithm. Instead of doing the algorithm, the th one of the three algorithms um, twice, you only need to use one algorithm and apply it once, and then you'll get it, in. and that's actually pretty fast. Uh, so that's the first part of the video, the corners. And there's only one algorithm for that. Um, and then after, after that, you'll also notice that you've also once you get the edges in place, right? Sometimes you're looking, you're usually looking for um, one side that's solved, and you do um, one of these three algorithms. Actually, four algorithms: one, two, three, and four. Uh, you're looking at one of those, using one of those four algorithms to put the edges. I mean, yeah, the edges in the right place, and therefore solving the cube. And you're always looking for one soft side, right? So, but the, the thing is, sometimes you run into cases if you solve the cube enough again. If you solve the cube enough, you'll notice that sometimes you'll get something like this, where there's no solved side. Each edge is wrong. You see that? And there's two of these cases. So you need two different algorithms uh, to get rid of these cases. And there, these are other special cases that you need. So that's the second part of the video, is the second part of 2 look PLL. And the reason it's called 2 look PLL is because um, each time you solve the cube, you can... Uh, permute uh, basically after you're done after you're done making the top all yellow um, you can solve the cube with only two looks which means uh, you look at the cube apply an algorithm you look at the cube apply an algorithm and you're done every single time you don't have to do you, have, you don't you don't have to worry about special cases or anything like that and really to go from what where you are now to uh, doing being able to do to look PLL, you only need to learn three new algorithms, which isn't that bad. Okay. Um, yeah. So the first part of the video is the corners. So um, when you are um, okay. So when you're doing the corners, say okay. So when you're doing um, doing the corners and you get a case with no headlights. For example, like this. Okay, uh, this is the algorithm you apply. So it doesn't matter which side you apply it on; just apply it from any side, and you will have the corners in the right place. So uh, this the algorithm is known as the Y perm algorithm, um, and I find it pretty easy to memorize. This is what it is: F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F. And as you can see, the corners are in the right place and you only used one algorithm, minus one algorithm. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, and it's also very fast. So, um, uh, once you learn it and you can, you can finger trick it really, really fast. Like, I can do it like maybe in two seconds, let's see. Ah, that wasn't that good. 
but as you can see it's pretty fast um you can do it uh if you're really fast at finger tricks i'm really bad at finger tricks but even i can do it in less than two seconds so um you should be able to do that okay so that's the first part the corners and then after that the edges so this is a regular case you have the solve side right so i'm just going to solve this and put it into a special case so so here's a special case um, you see how there's no soft side and there's two different special cases for the edges um, there's the one where these two need to switch and these two need to switch so it forms like this cross on top okay, so these two need to switch and these two need to switch and um, the algorithm for that is actually quite simple but it's very hard to execute fast if you don't know what you're doing so the algorithm is M2 U M2 U2 M2 U M2 Okay, and if you need a reminder, M is this Okay uh, If you don't know what I'm talking about, like if this sounds like gibberish to you, just look at my cube notation video That will explain everything that I'm saying You got like all the letters and the twos and the primes and all that stuff Okay Okay um, And uh, basically how you do that fast is you use your fourth finger your uh, fourth fingers here, your ring fingers, and you push on this part here. Uh, it's kind of hard to do over here. That's better. So this is what I'm doing. It's I'm going like this, okay, and pushing it up like this. And uh, that's what I mean by if you don't know what you're doing, because people sometimes go like this, and that's really slow. And then you go like this, you know, that's pretty slow too, and you know other stuff. So the only really the only way you can finger trick this is by doing this. So yeah, so, so you, you see that? Uh, okay, so that's uh, called H perm algorithm. Um, yeah, and so the, that's, that was the first special case. Remember, that was the cross, okay, remember that. And the last, the last one algorithm that you need to learn is this one here. Um, so it looks the same as the other one that I just each perm, right? But it's different. If you notice, blue and orange, right? These two need to switch. And then on the other side is red and green. These two need to switch. So it's not a cross anymore. It's like this. These two and those two. You see that? Okay. So how you do this is you make sure that the line, the switch, the switch lines are going um, from the bottom left to the top uh, uh, bottom right to the top left so this way not going that way okay um, they need to be facing this way and then you do the algorithm uh, m2 u m prime u2 m2 u2 m prime u prime m2 okay and as you can see the cube is solved okay so those are the only special cases that you need to know for to look PLO. Um, yeah. So I'll go over those again. So the corner, the corner algorithm is the Y perm algorithm. F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. Okay. The first special case for the edge, the cross, is called H perm algorithm. Here it is, M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. Okay. And then the last one is Z perm, Z perm algorithm, where you have these two, um, these two switching, these two switching, and these two switching, and you need them facing from bottom right to top left. So this way. Okay. Uh, the algorithm is M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U prime, M2. Okay. Alright. So that's what it is. And I'll write up the algorithms here on the screen. And I'll just talk so you can write those down. And uh, yeah. Um, if you like this video, um, click like, 
If you want notifications for future videos, please subscribe. Uh, I'm Honest and True Cuber. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time.